Hi, I'm Robert with BTOD.com and today we are going to assemble the Facebo standing disc. I'm going to be following the paper instructions that came with the desk. Feel free to pause the video if you feel like you're getting behind or if you want to take a little extra time to work on one of the steps we're at. If you want to see more content about the Facebo desk, we have more on our YouTube channel. Also check us out on social, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, all of those channels. BTOD TV. Now let's get into the first step. To get started assembling our desk, we are going to attach our feet to the columns. So I'm going to start off just setting the legs down here. And then using our K bolts and our M5 hex wrench, we're going to attach the foot on there. Now these can go either foot, either direction. And I'm just gonna get all four of them started before I tighten anything down. So now that they're all in, I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten this down pretty tight. I wanna be careful not to go too tight on these because it's actually possible to flex the metal on the bottom of the foot. So I got those all nice and tight. Gonna move on to the second foot. Now for step two, as you can see, I've flipped the legs over and I'm putting it so the front side of the desk is facing you here. I am using my foot here to hold this leg up, otherwise it actually is gonna tip over. To attach this crossbar, we're gonna grab our L machine screws, and this is what the crossbar looks like. Now I will say quick that the L machine screws look a little different in real life here than they did on the picture, so just double check, make sure you got the small black screw. Now to attach this, you're gonna take the crossbar. You, be able to, you should be able to see this opening towards the front and these little tabs are gonna be on the top side pointing towards me, towards the back of the desk. This will be a little tricky for me to line this up, but I'm gonna put that screw in. So now that I have that started, I'm just gonna jump right over to the other side. Might be an area where it's nice to have help setting this up, but we're gonna give it a go here. Not gonna go too tight on these until I have all the screws in. Okay, now that I have all six of these started, I'm just gonna tighten them down. As you can see, this is a little bit of a difficult part of the process. I would recommend having someone help you hold this. So 
So moving on to step three, we are going to install the hex rod onto the motor and then into the other side of the leg here. To start, take this tiny little hex wrench, just loosen all of these little set screws. Now you don't wanna to go too far, really just a quarter turn, you'll kind of feel it loosen. And the ones on the, the side that's open, you can kind of leave those, they're already loosened up. Um, then we're gonna slide this on. I started with the side by the motor. It was a little unclear on the paper instructions which way to go, but it worked for me. So this set screw needs to come out a little further. Okay, now that slid right on. And then bring the other side in. Okay, now you wanna make sure that this side closer to the motor pushed all the way over so that it's hitting up against, there's a little retaining ring. Same on the motor side, or excuse me, on the leg side, just make sure the hex rod is pushed all the way in. Now we're gonna go through and tighten all of those set screws. And this side was actually missing a set screw. Not totally clear in the instructions if that's how it's supposed to be, but they did, uh, a, they did send along set screws. So I will add that one in. So then there's gonna be actually five different set screws across the rod here. So these set screws are gonna hold the rod in place. Get those nice and tight. That way your hex rod stays inside the leg. And we're ready to move on. So now moving on to step four, we are going to attach our side brackets onto the top of the frame here. We're gonna use those small L machine screws. Those are the small black ones. And then that M4, it's kind of the middle size hex wrench. So taking these brackets, you'll see this kind of shape that juts out. That's gonna be going downward. And you'll see the two holes on the side. Just take those machine screws, tighten that down. And just like always, don't tighten everything until you have all the screws started. So now that I have both of them in, I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten those down. This is one area where it's good to get those nice and tight, help with stability on the desk. Okay, moving on to the other side. And again, these doesn't matter which side you go. Sets, oop, make sure that part that juts out going downward. Now that they're both in, you're gonna tighten these down. So for step five, we are going to put together our work surface. The Facebo desk comes with a two-piece surface. So you're gonna use these small little connectors, they call them, that is our R piece. And then we're also gonna use what I call like a spanning bracket to screw these together and then all of our medium wood screws. Now these are J on the instructions. I will say they don't really look like the picture on the instructions. We'll show you what they look like in the corner here. So to start off, I'm gonna take these small pegs, just slide them into your work surface, kind of onto the, into the edge of it. Before you do that, make sure you are looking at the bottom of the surface, which is where you'll be able to see all of the pre-drilled holes. Okay, once those five pegs are in, you can just slide this in together. Take my spanning brackets, just I'm gonna lay them out quick. You can see the pre-drilled holes, exactly where to line them up. Makes it nice and easy. I'm gonna use a power drill. They do warn you in the instructions not to drill too far or to have your torque setting too high, otherwise you could strip the wood out. Okay. 
And as you get these tight, just make sure that the two pieces are nice and snug together. Moving on to step seven, we are now going to attach the frame onto the work surface. So I actually turned the desktop around, so the front of the desk is now facing you. That way it makes it easier for you to see what I'm doing and see where I put the button. So there are again pre-drilled holes. You can see how I was just sliding it around until I could find where all the holes in the frame are lining up with the holes on the work surface. We're now going to take our same wood screws, J, and attach the frame onto the work surface. Again, make sure your torque setting isn't up too high. You don't want to excessively uh, drive these screws into the top. And don't forget the two screws that go in the middle. And I'm also going to take our button. This actually uses these smaller wood screws. On our instructions, they are called the M small wood screw. Uh, the bag did not have a number, but it's pretty easy to identify them as the only small wood screws that are attached or uh, included. There's also pre-drilled holes for this over on the, what will be the left side of the desk when you have it standing upright. So continuing step eight, I'm just gonna go ahead and attach the button to the motor here. Just a simple snap, some rounded edges so you can see which direction it goes. Step eight is where we attach our power adapter. There's a small clip here. You can see there's a larger and smaller end. Just piece those together. And then this little clip holds it together. And then the rest of the power cord attaches on the other side. And basically your desk is ready to go. Before we go ahead and flip it over, I'm gonna show you how to attach a few accessories. So we're gonna start by taking the glides out of the desk. So our Facebo came with casters, okay? Pretty simple, just screw them right in there. Comes with a small little wrench. Now that we have the casters on, we're gonna move on to some of our accessories that came with the desk. It is nice to do this while the desk is still flipped upside down rather than trying to screw up into the work surface. So this is the storage drawer. So basically you have to just fold these in place. So I'm just gonna follow the directions. This is the left side, so I'm just gonna bend this. Okay, it actually bent pretty easy. So that's step one. Step two, we're now gonna bend these tabs over. So this is what's going to allow us to screw that into the desk. Okay, try to just make them the same. Step four, this little tab, this is I'm guessing what keeps the drawer from going out the back side. Just going to bend that up. 
Okay, again, just trying to get it nice and even. We'll set that down for a second. Now we're gonna do the right side. Just gonna try to line it up just like the picture looks. Fold this side up. Do the same thing, bend those tabs outward so we can screw this onto the desk. Try to get those pretty even. Now the back is just gonna flip up again to hold the drawer in. All right, now that we have those together, grab my drill. I already have my screws here that were left over. Now that little piece that bent up at the end that's gonna hold our shelf from falling out the back, it's gonna to go to the back side of the desk. And these do have pre-drilled holes, so it makes it pretty easy. Again, just make sure that that flap that's in the back faces the back side of the desk so you can get your drawer in. Okay, so this is what's gonna hold your drawer on. Okay, so now that we have that assembled to hold the drawer on, this is what our drawer looks like. Just gonna open this up. This piece can just sit right on top. Now for this, I'm gonna to wait to put it on until we flip the desk over, otherwise it might just fall out. Next accessory we're going to assemble is our wire tray. So another easy fold. You're gonna fold these up. You can see I have the front lip here. This is the back side. Okay, step two, they want you to fold these outward again. This is to hold it onto the desk. Felt a little harder to bend than that last one. Be a little longer. Might be easier even to use a table or something to kind of hold that. Yeah, that actually worked pretty nice. Keep it nice and straight. Okay, finally, just bend this back side up. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead, attach this to the back side of our desk. So now we're gonna move on to attaching the wire management tray to the desk. As you can see, we actually flipped the desk around to make it easier for you to see this. You do have the option of putting this both directions. So you can have it facing so it's open to the back so that you can access your wires and everything from the back side of the desk. Personally, this is what I usually like to do. Just makes it easier if you have your desk uh, accessible so you can just kind of pull it out and use your wires rather than having to crawl underneath your desk. Uh, but your instructions show you to put it this way, so facing so it opens up to the inside of the desk. So I'm gonna do it that way. And there's pre-drilled holes for this. So again, pretty simple. All right, we have the desk flipped over and now we're gonna put our drawer in. So it's not bad. Keep in mind when you put the drawer on, you are gonna lose this kind of leg room that normally if you're sitting there, you're gonna lose a couple inches where you can't bring the desk down. Something to consider. Casters are nice. It's always nice to keep the desk mobile. I'm not gonna just do a quick reset on the desk. I'm gonna hold down the down button. Okay, you could hear it just beeped. I brought it all the way down to the bottom. It beeped, now we can see our numbers. Easily move it up and down. Okay, let's say I want this as my standing height. It's a little low, but I'm gonna hold down the M2 button. Okay, now we've set that as our standing. So I'm just gonna move it a little bit just to show you. Now if I hit that M2, it'll program to stay at my standing height. So putting this desk together, you can see there's a couple little challenges, you know, just couple things that don't line up quite right, a little machine issues with just putting some of those screws in. So just something to consider when you're putting the desk together. Overall, pretty easy though, not a lot of major problems. 
at certain spots in the assembly, it would have been nice to have a second set of hands. So again, something to consider if you want it to go a little faster and a little less stress while you're assembling the desk, I recommend having a second set of hands to help you out. Now, with this desk, we have a lot of content on this desk already. It uh, can serve some good purposes. As you can see, it's very kind of easy to move around, lightweight desk, so it could work in certain circumstances. Uh, keep in mind, again, with the casters that we put on, probably wouldn't necessarily recommend that if you're wanting more stability. But check us out, YouTube. You're already watching our videos. Make sure to subscribe. We got a lot more content coming out. We got more stuff on the Facebo desk and some of its competitors. So make sure to follow us on our social media channels. Subscribe, hit that like button if this helped you out. Thanks for watching.